Today we are going to talk about the Angular compiler. The first time I heard about the Angular compiler, this is what I had in mind. So ngbuild is the Angular CLI command that builds the app. It takes like 20 seconds, something like that. Uh, runs Webpack, does all the TypeScript compilation. And when we finish, we can open the dist folder and we can find there a few files. So with Angular 1, we had a digest cycle, which would walk all the components in our apps. And then each component had a scope uh, with an array of watchers, and it would run all of those watchers. We'd call all of those functions to figure out if something was changed and we needed to update something inside the app. And then it would do it over and over again until uh, it found that there were no changes. So it could do that cycle three or four times for every mouse click. And then Angular came with a new performance game plan. This is the compiler. The compiler takes our HTML files and turns them into very efficient code that does the same thing. So instead of having of the browser parsing your um, HTML file, your template, and then Angular parsing the uh, DOM tree, it's just the compiler turns the HTML file into a set of JavaScript code, and that code creates the actual uh, DOM elements using document.createElement and so on. So exploring the compiler is really, really easy. We just need to NGC, the Angular compiler. So everything that is uh, a part of the structure of the view, the static structure goes to the uh, top part, and everything that is dynamic and goes through change detection goes to the bottom part. And the big advantage of this uh, structure is that the browser can run this part only once when you create your component, but then whenever you need uh, to do change detection, it only needs to run the second part. So this runs only once, and this runs whenever you do changes. So this has to be very efficient. Let me show you a few tricks that really help you to understand what's going on here. So this is something new. If you see some symbol that starts with theta, it means you should not use it, you should not rely on this, we can break this, we will break this. Since Angular is built with TypeScript, and this is TypeScript, we don't have to worry about this strange looking code, this funny looking code, because we can just hover in it, on it, or if you use WebStorm, Control Q or Command Q, and get all the information about the parameters. And if I Control click it, I can actually see that this is a method called ViewDef. Last thing that the compiler does for us is modules. So, we all know about the ng modules, and the reason ng modules were, were introduced into Angular is that we need context for the compiler. We, we also use the ng modules to define the dependency injection. So basically, we could write code that would store this into a map of all the services and would figure out the dependencies on runtime and create the services, but that would take much longer. That's what we did in Angular 1. But in Angular, now in Angular uh, 4, what we do, we simply generate code that does all the checks statically. 